Do not make the same mistakes we did. We are on a quest to find the perfect YouTube studio setup and the perfect vlog setup. All in one. We spent thousands and thousands of dollars on gear that we ended up not using. Just don't make the same mistakes we did. Save your hard earned cash, save your precious time and watch this video. So let's look at the following. We want this great image quality. We want a flip screen so we don't have to invest in an external monitor. We want 4K, that's really important to us. We want log footage and we want HLG. We want that external microphone jack so we can plug in an external microphone. We are after image stabilization and we want a fairly light and compact setup that so we can have a run and gun setup as well as a YouTube studio setup at home. As a solo creator, it is really important that we have that superb odd focus, right? Last but not least, great choice of lenses. That's a long wish list. That is a long wish list, but we are almost fulfilling every single one. At the end of this video, we will break down what components you need and what are optional. Whatever your YouTube channel covers and whatever your message is to the world out there. We think the occasional vlog, whether it be a how-to or a behind the scenes, can reach your audience in a different way. And this was really important in choice of our gear. And we split it down into five main categories. Number one, the camera. And yes, you guessed it. We have the Sony A6400. There are plenty of reviews out there for the Sony A6400. I have done a vlog challenge to also demonstrate how good this camera really is. It shoots 4K up to 30 frames per second, has time lapse built in, as well as slow motion in HD. Number two, the lens selection. So the lens selection is really insane because Sony uses the E-mount for the full frame as well as for the APS-C lineup. That means you can switch lenses around if you wish. But here's about the lens selection for the APS-C lineup is already really much better than all the competitors out there, or most of the competitors out there. There are two lenses which I highly recommend, the Sigma 16mm f1.4 and the Sony 10-18mm f4. If you are wanting stabilization for your vlogs, then a gimbal is a great option. We are using the Weeble Lab together with audio from the Rode Video Micro. Number three is audio. There are several options to go for and it depends whether you are looking for a vlog setup or a YouTube studio setup. In terms of audio, we used the Rode Shotgun microphone earlier and I'm now using the Rode Wireless Go system which is a device that you can attach to yourself like a lavalier mic and then you attach it to the Sony A6400 and that just gives you that bit more flexibility and this is an audio test with the system together and I think it really sounds amazing. Number four is lighting. And that is a difficult one because depending on the situation and where you are, we always try to use natural light, right? So there's a window in front of you where light is coming in so we don't have to invest in that huge studio setup. The only downside with this setup is that when the light changes outside, like let's say it's sunny and then suddenly it's cloudy, your image will also change. So that's the only downside. But if you have no alternative, then you have to have an investment in lights for your studio, right? Yeah. In terms of travel, we use a small travel light and that can really enhance certain situations when filming. And look, lighting is just as tricky as audio. No matter how good your camera is, bad lighting can really hurt your story. If it is raw and run and gun, that is fine. If your studio has not enough lights or the wrong kind, it can really put your viewers off. Number five is stabilization. There are two main ways to go about this. You could use a tripod like the Gorilla Pod or a regular tripod, or you can choose the gimbal route where you are working on your filmmaking abilities. We have chosen the Weeble Lab from Zion. Zion, Zion. Zion, Zion. Weeble Lab is an interesting choice. It weighs around one kilo and can hold up to three. Testing it, it feels more like two kilos. But hey, it is still a great choice for traveling. And one of the key features is that you can lock the gimbal so that there are no more moving parts whatsoever. It keeps everything nice 
and stable and gets rid of all that shaky shake. So here are our must have components. Number one, obviously the camera. We have chosen the Sony A6400 as our go to. It is so worth the 900 US dollars. It's a must buy. Number two is a Rode Video Micro. It's a small microphone that costs around 50 US dollars and that will do in many occasions, right? You have the possibility to upgrade to bigger and better and different style of audio but for now that will do it's a good plug and play very good number three is tripods two good tripods a gorilla pod and a regular pod and you're good to go number four one lens but if you can afford go for two it's a sigma 16 f 1.4 and the sony 10 to 18 f4 both of these lenses together is a killer combination and i can tell you unless you filming like a proper video movie this is all you need trust me one lens if you can afford go for them too number five it's the light don't forget to use a travel light because that really goes a long way and really anything else is an optional component you will find that most of the stuff you buy you don't use as originally planned and one big lesson we learned is that for every dollar spent on camera gear you need to spend two dollars on lighting and audio just make sure you invest in that as well, not just the camera. So let us know what you use for your vlogging setup in the comments below. Jens here from Space. Tony the Car Geek. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out.